So on reactive oxygen species that is ROS and its role in cancer transformation. ROS are constantly generated during the metabolic process in the form of free radicals, ions and molecules with a single unpaired electron which confers them high reactivity. Usually the hemostasis between ROS production and clearance is maintained by antioxidant system. Lack of efficient antioxidant system can lead to oxidative stress causing various pathological conditions like cancer. Now let us see an example where healthy cell when exposed to high level of ROS can transform into cancerous cell. Let us see some example of free radicals. Free radicals are broadly divided into reactive oxygen species and reactive nitrogen species. Under reactive oxygen species, we come across hydroxyl radical, superoxide ions, alkoxy radicals, peroxyl radicals, singlet oxygen, and hydrogen peroxide. Under reactive nitrogen species, we will come across nitric oxide, nitrogen dioxide, peroxynitrite, dinitrogen dioxide and nitrous acid. Now we'll talk about impact of ROS on the cell. ROS causes DNA double strand breakage, major role played by hydroxyl radical, superoxide radical and hydrogen peroxides. ROS also causes base mutations which is modification of GC base. AT are less susceptible to ROS. Now next one is lipid peroxidation which is oxidative degradation of lipid. Now this oxidative degradation of lipid produces the end product as MDA and HNE. HNE act as a biomarker for the lipid peroxidation. Lipid peroxidation leads to increase in membrane permeability and fluidity. Other changes associated are peptide chain breakage, site specific modification of amino acids and enzyme inactivation. Now talking about cancer, Cancer is the major heterogeneous that is it shows various etiology with high morbidity and mortality. Despite of extensive research in targeted therapy, still an alarming condition with a poor prognosis and high mortality exists. Redox balance and deregulation of redox signaling are common hallmark of cancer progression and drug resistance so there are a lot of research works are going on but still we are unable to find or still we are unable to find some like uh, uh, targeted therapy to overcome the pathological condition of cancer cancer cells maintain high level of ROS due to high metabolic rate mitochondrial dysfunction and they activate antioxidant pathways, especially with NRF2, for survival under oxidative stress. Now, talking about some uh, like specific target in cancer therapy, the role of ROS in cancer transformation, there are some major sources of ROS, and these are like NADPH oxidase, mitochondria dysfunction, high metabolic rate. Now, Cell da cellular damage includes DNA damage, mutations, drug resistance, hypoxia, and tumor environment, inflammation. Now, if you talk about the cancer cell progression and survival, there are some oncogenic activations, RAS, BCRAB, CMIG, VENT, PI3K, AKT, and mTOR pathways.
that's all for today hope you like the video thank you for more information on my research do visit my website please share your comments and do subscribe to my channel